In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to use the color key effect in Adobe Premiere. With the color key effect, you can remove specific chrome from the footage and combine it with the background. The whole process is known as chroma technology, in which the video shoot is done with a green or a blue background. To get started, you will need the video and a virtual set for the background. Over here in the media library section, we have all the resources already imported. So let's start by first dragging the virtual set, which is an image, and drag it over the timeline. With that done, we will increase the duration of the image on the timeline and adjust it according to the frame size. Next, we will drag and drop the green screen footage to the video overlay track. Now let's set the duration of the clip on the timeline, transform the clip size, and place it according to the backdrop. With that done, we will go to the effects menu and apply the crop video effect on the green screen clip. This will allow us to remove the unwanted part of the clip. Simply move to the effect control panel and let's crop the clip from both the right and left side by changing these values. Now let's apply the auto contrast video effect from the effects menu over here. We will apply this effect on the same green screen video layer which we cropped earlier. With that done, let's move to the effect menu once more and apply the ultra key effect located in the keying folder. We will apply this effect on the green screen video layer. Now let's move to the effect control panel and expand the ultra key menu. Click on the color picker icon next to the key color option and select the background color which is to be removed. In this case, the background color is green. Now you can see that only the subject remains on the screen and the backdrop has been keyed out. But if you look closely, you can still see some of the shades existing within the frame over here. To apply the color key effect in a better way, select the alpha channel from the output menu. Now you can see each and every shade that will appear on the layer. Now we will configure each and every individual setting to make sure that the background is removed. For that, expand the matte generation menu and set the pedestal option to 100. You can see the changes taking place in the preview pane over here in real time. Next, we will open up the matte cleanup menu and set the midpoint value to 50. Lastly, let's move back to the matte generation section and set highlight to 10, transparency to 37, shadow to 52, and tolerance to 20. You can play with the values according to the clip you are working with. Once done, switch back to the composite mode, and there you have it. We have successfully applied the color key effect on the overlay video layer. Let's render the sequence, and this is the final output. You can see that the green background has been completely removed. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.